Welcome to the tutorial for TSI Software Track Pro 5. This video can be used as a teaching method for users who are new to Track Pro 5 and its feature, features. Topics that will be covered are downloading the Track Pro software, receiving test files from the AM520, reviewing and graphing data, configuring settings, calibration, run modes, alarms, device info, and exporting tests to CSV files. To download the software, navigate to the TSI website www.tsi.com. Click on Support. Next, click on TSI Software and Firmware. Click on the Software and Firmware Wizard link. Type AM520 into the search field, select Side Pack Personal Aerosol Monitor AM520, and then click Search. Click on the Track Pro 5 link and install the program. After Track Pro 5 has been installed onto your computer, you can use it to download log data from the instrument. To do this, you will need to connect it to your computer. This can be done using the USB cable that was provided with the instrument. It is important to note that when downloading log data, the instrument must be powered on. Track Pro 5 software should look, look like this after the program is started. In the lower left corner, the program states zero instruments are found. At this time, connect the instrument to the computer. Track Pro 5 should automatically recognize the device after it has been connected and state that one instrument has been found. Click on the Devices tab to expand the device menu. By default, all log test data is selected. Uncheck any tests you prefer not to download. Click Receive Selected Tests to download the log data into the Track Pro 5 software. The received tests will populate on the right side. Delete All Tests allows the user to delete to, to delete all the log data files from the instrument's internal memory directly from TrackPro. This can also be done at a later time using the AM520 menu system. At this time, the test data can be saved in the form of TrackPro files. To save the data as a TrackPro file, select the test you would like to save and click File, then click Save All or Save Selected, name the file, and click Save. Track profiles can now be referenced at a later date without needing to connect to the instrument and downloading the data again. To view previously saved Track Pro 5 files, click File and navigate to Open. Click on the Save Data file and click Open. After receiving the test, the test data, the instrument can be turned off, turned off and disconnected from the computer. Next, I will, re I will review graphing the graphing ability of Track Pro 5. Click Devices to hide device information. Click Select All Tests to graph every test file or select each file individually. Click Expand Tests to view additional information about each individual test file. Click Collapse Tests to view limited information about each test. In the expanded view, test name, location, and description can be edited by clicking Edit. You can also expand and collapse each individual test by clicking on the arrow next to each file name. Click in the checkbox to graph the tests. Up to five can be graphed at the same time. Test data information will, will populate only if one individual test is selected. Click Graph Full Screen to see an expanded view of the graph. Clicking on Graph Options to access graphs, graphing settings. This is only available after expanding the graph. 
Graphing options include adding a chart title, changing the theme, adding or removing grid lines, chart style, and axis options. Click inside the title boxes to enable channel options and access options. After making changes to the graphing options, click Apply to update the graphs based on the options selected. Graphs can be printed and saved by using the File menu. Report PDFs can be generated by clicking on Save Report. If you would like to show statistics and raw data in the report, click the checkboxes to enable these options. Multi-test summary will be available when two or more tests are selected. The Settings tab allows the user to configure the instrument's date and time, logging intervals, and time constants. The date and time can be changed to match the computer it is currently connected to or by manually entering a time in the above field, selecting manual time, and clicking send to device. Five different logging intervals can be configured and sent to the instrument. These will be used when the instrument is in the manual run mode. Five different time constants can be configured and sent to the instrument. The time constant will dictate how often the Mass measurement reading will update on the LED screen. Refer to the AM520 user guide for further clarification. The logging interval and time constant can only be adjusted using the TrackPro 5 software. Time and date, however, can be adjusted using the AM520 menu system and keypad functions. The calibration tab allows the user to configure the instrument's calibration factors. The AM520 User Guide refers to the calibration factors as user cals. User cals 1 and 2 cannot be changed and are preset at the factory. User cals 3 through 7 can be renamed, configured, and sent to the device. The actual values for user cals 3 through 7 can also be changed using the AM520 menu system and keypad. The run mode Run Modes tab allows the user to configure the five program modes. The program name, logging interval, specific start date and times, test length, number of tests, and time between tests can all be configured. For reference, the amount of memory required to carry out the test is displayed. The five programs can be saved to a file by clicking Save to File. The save file can be used to, lo to load program settings at a later time without having to manually reconfigure all the programs again. This can be useful when setting up multiple AM520s to operate using the same programs. To load program files, click Read from File. Click Read from Device to read read the programs that were previously loaded onto the instrument. Click Send a Device to upload your changes to the instrument. The Alarms tab allows the user to configure the parameter alarms, also referred to as General Alarm in the User Guide, Stell Alarms, and Alert Options. Clicking on one of the five alarms and Clicking, click one of the five alarms and send a device will enable that specific alarm. Click Disabled if you prefer not to use an alarm during monitoring. Keep in mind the parameter and stell alarm values can only be adjusted using the TrackPro 5 software. The actual values cannot be adjusted using the AM520 keypad and functions, but the user can pick which alarm should be enabled using the AM AM520 keypad. Audible, LED, and screen options can also be enabled or disabled using Track Pro 5. Click inside the, the checkbox to enable each of the options. Click Send to Device to save the changes to the instrument settings. LED refers to four, the four red LEDs that are on either side of the AM520 display. 
These four LEDs will illuminate when an alarm set point is triggered. Screen refers to the AM520 display itself. This will also change to red when an alarm set point is triggered. The device information tab contains information about the instrument itself such as model number, serial number, and firmware version. Within this tab, the user can also restore the instrument to its factory default settings for the instrument by clicking here. To export test data to a CSV, CSV file, first select the tests you would like to export. Multiple tests can be exported, but they will all be contained in a single CSV file. After de determining which tests you would like to export, click File and navigate to Export in the menu tree. Select CSV and select the preferred delimited type. Comma delimited is the most common and will separate the data into individual cells. The import function can be used to import track profiles that were generated using track pro versions 4.7 and older. Note, data files from some instruments may not be supported and will not import. To exit the program, click File and navigate down to Exit. This concludes the TSI software track pro 5 tutorial. In addition to this tutorial, a full user guide is available by clicking on Help and then View Help. A PDF of the user guide should open. If additional support is required, feel free to contact Kevin Turnquist at kevin.turnquist at tsi.com or the TSI Customer Service Department can also be used. Thanks.